right, seventh grade lesson 102. This one is on transversals and then simplifying equations. Two totally different lessons. Okay, let's talk about a transversal. A transversal is a line that intersects one or more lines in a plane. For example, we've got two parallel lines right here. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a transversal. That is the transversal. It cuts through or intersects one or more lines. Okay, that's what a transversal is. All right, now I'm going to draw numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I make sure it wasn't five, six, seven, eight, or anything like that. Okay, now first thing I want to teach you about this is they're telling me that this is transversal T. Whatever. Okay, now. I want to teach you about uh, corresponding angles. So, you might want to write this down on your notes. Corresponding angles. And let me show you what corresponding angles are. Corresponding angles are like 1 and 5, 2 and 4, 3 and 7. Why? Because they make the exact same angle. Look at 1 and then look at 5. See how that made the exact same angle? Mm -hmm. Or look at 2 and 6. 2, 6. Those are called corresponding angles. You might want to write that down. So, for example, 1 and 5, angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding. Or, angle 4, what does it correspond with? Angle uh, four. 4 is with 8. Yes, 8. Okay, you understand how that works? Mm -hmm. So those are called corresponding angles. Now, the next thing I want to teach you about is alternate. Write this one down too. Alternate exterior angles. Now, we're going to take this word and break it apart really simply. Okay, alternate means kind of like opposite. Exterior means outside, it's on the exterior, external, and then an angle. So, for example, if this is my intersecting line, which numbers are on the outside? Hopefully you can see 1 and 2 are on the outside and 7 and 8 are on the outside. These are on the inside. Okay, now... We determined what exterior were, exterior angles. 1 and 2 are exterior angles, and 7 and 8 are exterior angles. Do you see that? These are interior angles. We're going to learn about those in just a minute. Okay, now, what does this alternate mean? Alternate means this 2 and this 7 are on opposite sides. This is on the right side, exterior. This is on the left side, exterior. Okay? Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So, what is the alternate exterior angle for an angle number one? What is its? Eight. Eight. Very good. This one's on the left side. This one's on the right side. This is on the exterior, exterior. Very good. Negative, uh, I'm sorry. Angle one and angle eight are the alternate exterior. What about two? Angle two and angle, angle seven. Angle two and angle seven. Seven. Okay. Very good. So those are alternate exterior. Now let's talk about interior on the inside. Okay? Now, again, alternate means one's on the right side, one's on the left side. Interior means the one's on the inside. So these are our inside angles right here. See that? Mm -hmm. So what angle four, what is an alternate interior angle for four? Uh, five. Very good. And six is three. Very good. Okay. That's pretty much um, that part of the lesson. Um, but let's do one more thing because here's what it says to me. Transversal T intersects these parallel lines, L and M. Then it says this. So that the measure of 1 is 105 degrees. Okay? Then it asks this. 
find the measures of 2 through 8. Okay, 2 through 8. All we know is that 1 is 105. Can I discover what 2 is? Um, yes. Because why? It's 180. That's 180, this line is. So it's just 180 times. I mean, 180 minus, minus 105, 105, which would be 75, right? Mm -hmm. So angle 2 is 75 degrees. Did you know that corresponding angles are the exact same amount? Mm -hmm. So if 2 is 75, what is 6? 75. Very good. Okay? If 1 is 105, what is 5? 105. 105. Okay. Now, guess what else? Same thing with 3 and 4. Same thing with 3. 3 is going to be the small angle, 75. And 4 is the large angle, which is 105. This is the large angle, 105. This is the small angle, 75. So just by coming up with 1, you are able to figure out all. Okay? All right, that's the first part of the lesson. But now we're moving to um, simplifying equations. This is geometry. Now we're moving to algebra. Okay? Now, this next portion... I'm going to do a different color. Black. Okay. They tell me to simplify and solve this equation. So, ready? 3x plus 5 minus x equals 17 plus x minus x. Now, that looks like an enormous problem, I'm sure. Okay. The very first thing I would do is you see these x's? That means there's one x. Okay? So I'm going to put a one with that x. One, make that plus, and then move this one over a little bit more. One x. Okay? So all I did is make a one with the x's. Do you know what the next thing I would do? Mm. I would make all my minuses plus Negative. negatives or plus opposites. So plus negative. Plus negative. Is that all of them? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, what you're going to do, so the very first thing, you might want to write down these rules. The first thing is to make any x is 1x. The second thing I did was make plus negatives or plus positives, depending on opposite, doing the opposite. All right? The third thing I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for you for just a minute. You said plus negative? Plus the opposite, which is most of the time negative. But basically you're doing the opposite of whatever that sign was. Mm -hmm. You're doing the opposite of that. Okay. So since this was a positive 1x, we made it a negative. Yeah, I got it. Okay. okay. Now, the third thing we're going to do is add like terms. Okay. Now, like terms are things like this. 3x and 1x, or negative 1x, are both kind of the same. 5 is something different. It's just a number. This one's a number and x. This is just a number. So I underline these once, and I underline this one twice because they're different. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go on and answer all of these on this side. Then we'll move to this side, and then we'll move and think about what we're going to do with them after that. Okay, so help me out. I'm going to add or subtract my x's. I have three, and you can see it like dog. I have three dogs plus a negative one dog. How many dogs do I have? Two. Okay? Three plus a negative one. You skipped over the plus five. No, no, because we're just doing like terms. Oh, okay. You're just adding these types. Okay, that's why it was important to go in and change all these to plus because it doesn't matter how you move it around at that point. So we're going to just answer these okay. and that becomes 2x. Right? This and this. <gasps> Don't with those. Alright, and then we just get plus 5. Nothing we can do with the 5 because there's nothing else to add it to. Okay, then we've got equals. Now let's do the same thing here. This is an x, this is an x, but this is just a number. So I underlined it twice. Okay, so 1x plus a negative 1x, 1 dog plus negative 1 dog gives me 0 dogs. So I don't even do anything with it. It just erases them. Then I just get 17. And I'm done with that. Now, 
it becomes a problem that you're used to working with. Okay, what can I do at this point? 2x plus 5 equals 17. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get my x by itself, but right now it's with the 2, so we'll leave it. So we move plus 5 over move that. to negative 5. Very good. Okay, so that becomes 12. And then 2x equals 12. So what does x equal? Uh, six. 6. Very good. Okay, 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, so that was the whole problem. Do you feel like you understand it? Yeah. Okay, let's do another one. I want you to do this one on your own. See if you can do it. Okay, and so then the fourth one will be just be complete. Okay, so let's do, ready? 5x minus 17 equals 2x minus 5. All right, first step was to do all your 1x's, which we don't have any 1x's, do we? No. Uh, no. Now, can we change any of our minuses to plus opposite? Yes. Yes, so change your minus to a plus negative on the first one, and it's going to be a plus negative on the second one, too. All right, now we're going to add like terms, each according to the equal sign, but guess what? The x and the 17 are two different. And then when you go to this side of equals, this x and this 5, and they're different. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to move all the x's to one side and all the numbers to the other side. So let's move our x's. Let's leave our 5x here, and let's bring this 2x over. What happens to this 2x, positive 2x? Oh, it makes it negative. Okay, so we're going to write 5x plus a negative 2x. And that gets rid of that. Equals, and then do you see this negative 17? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take it and bring it across over here. It becomes a positive 17. And then I've got my plus negative 5. Is that what you've got so far? Mm -hmm. Is that how you got it? Okay. So now let's add the like terms. Five dogs plus a negative two dogs, which means you take away two dogs. We're going to have three dogs, or three X. Okay? And then 17 plus a negative 5 is going to be a 12. We subtract and take the sign of the biggest number, which is positive. Okay? And now 3 times what equals 12? X equals 4. See how we did that? Mm -hmm. Alright, does that make sense? Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Alright, this is the last one, and the only reason I'm having to do this one is because it, they change it up just a bit. Alright, here's what it says. Solve this. 3 plus 2, x minus 4, equals 32. Now, this one is where it gets a little bit more confusing. Because we have to use PEMDAS first before we answer these problems like we were doing. Do you see a PEMDAS problem that we need to do? Um, no. Kind of. Well, you have to use parentheses. And yeah. Which there's nothing to answer within the parentheses. There's no exponents, but is there a multiplication? Yes. This next to this means multiplication. Okay? Do you remember me teaching you the distributive property where you go 2 times this? We get 2x. Two, two uh -huh. Minus 2 times this, which would be 4 times 2, 8. Do you remember doing that? Okay, so this equals this. Okay. Now I'm just going to bring everything else down. And we have the same kind of problem we were working with earlier. Okay. Okay? So I'm going to show you do it quickly. This, this. I'm going to want to make this plus negatives. Okay? And then that. I'm just going to answer on this side of the equal. So three dogs plus two dogs makes five dogs plus negative eight equals 32. Then I'm going to try to get this negative eight across the equals becomes positive eight. And then 5x equals 40. And then x equals 8. And that's the end of the lesson. Done with lesson 102.